Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to adjust the color of the keyboard on your iOS 7 device. Um, Apple, in their infinite wisdom, has made the keyboard on their devices pretty boring, pretty monotone, just one color. Um, for a little while you were able to change it to black, but I think they got rid of that. But with a little bit of jailbreaking help, you can have a fabulous color keyboard like this. And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is open up Cydia. And once it finishes loading, we are going to add a new source to our list of sources. So go ahead and select Sources. In the upper right hand corner, click Edit. In the upper left hand corner, click Add. And then go ahead and add the source repo.insane. LYI.com and I will have this uh, source listed down below. So go ahead and click Add Source and once you do uh, you should see the Insanely repository in your list of sources. Once you have that we're gonna go ahead and install the app itself. So go ahead and click Search and we're gonna search for the app named Fancy. Um, you can see there's a couple options that will pop up. Go ahead and select the one that's in the Insanely repository. You can see it'll say Insanely right there towards the top. So that's how you'll know you found the right one. And then in the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click Install. Mine says Modify because I've already got it on there. Yours will say Install. And then after it installs, it may ask you to respring your device. Once that you've got that all taken care of, um, you'll notice that out here on the screen there is no new icon. This app won't uh, put an icon on your screen. We have to go into the settings to make the changes. So go ahead and go into settings and then scroll down until you see fancy in your list here and go ahead and select that. <clears throat> And in order for this app to work, we have to make sure that Fancy is enabled. And then there are quite a few settings. You can see there are some global settings. And then you can customize things like banners, your notifications, uh, the assistant, your keyboard, your folders, all sorts of stuff you're able to change the colors of. So first thing, let's go into um, the global options. And I have it set so that the keyboard is tinted and darkened. Um, and we'll kind of come back and show you a little bit of what that does. But for now, just turn both of those on. And then go ahead and scroll down to your keyboard. And here, um, you can see there's a red, green, and blue slider that will allow you to pick whatever color you want for your keyboard. Um, let's give ourselves, just for the sake of demonstration, a bright yellow keyboard. And then this bottom slider will adjust how um, opaque it is. So if you want it kind of see-through, you set it to zero. That's completely see-through. If you want it dark, you set it to 100. Um, for the purpose of the demonstration, we'll go about 60%, give or take. 65, that sounds good. And then something that we need to do in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that there's a check mark. We need to make sure that that is checked. If it's not, these uh, changes won't affect our keyboard. So pick the color, pick the opacity, make sure that you check that little box up in the corner, and then click Save Changes. And once we've got that, we can come out, and our keyboard, when it pops up, well, that's a hideous color, but you can see um, that it's bright, and it's not, I mean, it's different, it's ugly, but it's different. So we can change the color if we want, <clears throat> and we can change uh, the darkness of the color. So uh, let's go back up to Global Options and leave it tinted, the keyboard, but turn off the darken. And when we do that, uh, the keyboard will still be that yellow color, but you can see it's kind of the keys aren't colored, and it's just kind of the background that's got the color. So that's another option if you like that. So uh, that's a little bit about how to adjust the colors 
Um, you can play with the settings and banners, um, your dock, all sorts of stuff you'll be able to customize. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments. I'll do my best to help you. If this video was helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.